let's learn how to solve this problem from the AMC 10. Suzanne went to the bank and withdrew $800. The teller gave her this amount using $20 bills, $50 bills, and $100 bills with at least one of each denomination. How many different collections of bills could Suzanne have received? So naturally we see 20, 50, I mean, it should probably occur to you that, okay, 20 times five is 100, 50 times two is 100. So we have some number of $100 bills, right? Let's just say we have, yeah, we, so the thing is, is these $100 bills that we have, let's say we have X $100 bills, right? This is going to be a multiple of 100 amount of money. Because you have $300 bills and X of them, or let's say, yeah, X $100 bills. This is going to be, uh, the amount of money produced by these $100 bills is going to be a multiple of 100. So, Assuming because we must have at least one $20 bill and one $50 bill, we must somehow form a multiple of 100 amount of money with $20 bills and $50 bills. So here's kind of the thing here. Of course, with two 50s, we can form 100. And of course, with five 20s, we can form 100. But the question is, can we form 100 with some 50s and some 20s? And the answer is no, because Let's, for that to happen, we must have, let's say we have an odd number of $50 bills, right? If you have an even number of $50 bills, then we can just group them all into groups of $100 each. So let's say we're trying to form a group with a $50 bill, right? And we're also trying to have some $20 bills in this group. There's no amount of $20 bills you can add such that the total is 100. So if we can think of $800, we're trying to create eight different groups we can, each group cannot have a mixing between the $50 and $20 bills. It has to either be pure $50 bills, pure $20 bills, or just simply a $100 bill. We can't have some 50s and some 20s because that's not possible, right? We can't, have, we can't make the remaining 50 with $20 bills. So then it just becomes a question of, we have eight hundreds, and we have to divide these hundreds into three kind of classes. Either it goes to the $100, $100 bill, Either the 100 just gets occupied by a $100 bill, right? Use a $100 bill to get $100. Or you have $2.50s or $5.20s. So the question is really, we just have to split these 800s into these three different groups. But each group must have at least one. One of these hundreds must be in at least each group because we're given at least one of each denomination. So 800s, and we're dividing it into three different groups. So we have two bars. So this is a classic stars and bars thing. We can have eight stars and then two bars, right? Because we're dividing into three classes. So then we can just do this in 10 choose two ways. And 10 choose two is 10 choose two is just going to be, oh, but then remember, we also have to deal with the fact that each class must have at least one, right? Because because like we can't have zero $100 bills or zero $50 bills or zero $20 bills. So from these 800s, we give one to the $100 bill region, we give one, we assign one to the $50 bills and assign one to the $20 bill. And we're left with five. So we really have five stars and then two bars. So five stars, two bars, there's seven, choose two ways to order them. So that's 21, which is the final answer. The idea? Realizing that the groups of 100 have to be pure. They can't be mixed 50s and 20s. And then now it's just a matter of 800s distribute amongst the $100, the $50, and the $20. And that's just routine stars and bars. Hope you enjoyed.